Will Smith and Jada tried to pick her up on a threesome and you were gonna beat up Will Smith, is that true? Uh, Will Smith being gay and having gay relations with, uh, who, who was it with? Um, Diddy. <laughs> I know, right? Shocking new photos of Will Smith at Diddy's party have sent fans into a frenzy. Once admired as one of Hollywood's most respected figures, his appearance at this controversial event has left many disappointed. Could Will Smith have been endorsing Diddy's rumored illegal activities? As the internet buzzes with speculation, people are wondering if this could be the end of his career. What has he said about the allegations? Let's take a forensic look into the explosive party footage that has everyone talking and how it might just change everything for Will Smith. Diddy and Will Smith, a friendship with hidden depths. Will Smith and P. Diddy have been close since the late 90s, often spotted at major events together. Diddy dropped his first single in 1996, with Smith following a year later in 1997. Both have been involved in high-profile projects and have remained fixtures in the spotlight. A notable moment? The pair was photographed in 2003 alongside boxing legend Muhammad Ali at the launch of his book. Then in 2008, they were seen at the premiere of a Columbia Pictures film, accompanied by Will's son Jaden, Diddy's son Christian Combs, and actor Tyrese Gibson. But it's not just their friendly appearances that are grabbing attention lately. Recently resurfaced photos from Diddy's past parties have caused quite a stir. One particularly shocking image from his 2004 freak-off party in Miami shows a woman being objectified, lying on a table as part of a food display. Diddy is seen eating a chocolate-dipped strawberry from her, while other A-listers, including Will Smith, Bruce Willis, Diana Ross, and Owen Wilson, look on. The event, packed with Hollywood's elite, has faced serious backlash for its exploitative treatment of women. Naturally, Fans are now questioning why Will Smith, who's known for his wholesome image and religious values, would attend such an event. Could he have been aware of what was going on? As these images circulate, the public is left wondering, why was Will there, and what does this say about his character? Was Will Smith in deeper than we knew? As the internet buzzes with theories, some are particularly eye-catching. One claim making waves is that Will Smith took his son Jaden to Diddy's parties to help launch his career in the entertainment world. That's right. Some believe these parties weren't just wild social events, but crucial networking hubs where celebrities built connections, collaborated on projects, and moved up the ranks in Hollywood. Jaden, now a successful actor and rapper, has certainly found his footing in the industry. But could these controversial parties have played a role in his success? Fans are speculating that Will might have been more involved in Diddy's gatherings, and potentially Diddy's alleged unlawful activities, than he's led on. Could there be more beneath the surface of this famous friendship? Then there's the drama surrounding Diddy, Will, and Jada Pinkett Smith. Remember the infamous Oscars slap in 2022 when Will hit Chris Rock after a joke about Jada's hair? <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! The entire world watched in shock, but what many may not know is that Diddy played a key role in calming things down. As he prepared to present a tribute to The Godfather, Diddy quickly addressed the situation, cracking a joke to lighten the mood and steer the night back on track. While Diddy's support seemed like an act of friendship, new rumors suggest a more sinister motive. Was Diddy trying to keep Will in his debt? Could there have been strings attached to his defense of Will that night? Rumors are now swirling that Diddy has been threatening Will and Jada behind the scenes, trying to control them through some secret leverage. An old story from the early 2000s has resurfaced, claiming that Diddy once accused the Smiths of making inappropriate advances toward his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez. According to Gene Deal, a former security guard for Bad Boy Records, Diddy was so upset that he threatened to confront Will physically. Diddy allegedly believed that Will and Jada were getting too close to Lopez and was prepared to snuff him if things escalated further. This altercation reportedly took place around the time Diddy and Lopez were still dating, just before their split in 2001. Now fans are wondering if Diddy could be using footage of Will at his wild parties as leverage to keep him in check. 
Could Diddy be holding something over Will's head, threatening to ruin his career if he doesn't comply? What does Will have to say about all this? Did anyone see this coming? Stay tuned as we dive into these shocking revelations and uncover the truth behind Will Smith's ties to Diddy's scandalous world. Diddy's alleged crimes, Will Smith's complicity. The accusations against Diddy are explosive, and fans are desperate to know if Will Smith had any role in the unfolding scandal. With Will being a regular face at Diddy's infamous parties, his presence alone has people questioning whether he was aware of the alleged misdeeds taking place. Yo, that's crazy. Look at it. They got a naked woman up there and they got food on and you go get strawberries covered in whatever, whatever, and go sucking it off this woman. Yet, despite the mounting pressure, Will Smith has stayed frustratingly silent. His refusal to speak out is causing concern among his loyal followers, who are beginning to lose patience. As one of Hollywood's most beloved figures, Will's career has been built on his reputation for honesty and moral integrity. But as days pass without a word from him, that once unshakable image is starting to crack. Fans can't help but wonder if he's hiding something. Could Will Smith, known for his squeaky clean image, be keeping secrets that could tarnish everything he's worked for? If the allegations against Diddy are proven true, and if Will is found complicit in any way, it could spell disaster for his already shaken career. We've already witnessed how the Oscars debacle dented his image. This scandal could very well be the final straw. What's even more intriguing is that several celebrities had warned about Diddy's outlandish parties long before his current legal troubles surfaced. Went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. In 2019, Ashton Kutcher alluded to the craziness of Diddy's gatherings, even hinting at their questionable nature. Kutcher revealed that he had a strange friendship with Diddy, forged over a prank on Punked. It's not really a party story, but our relationship was really bizarre. So it started over Punked because yeah. he was like, yo, don't punk you me. can't punk me. And I was like, I don't want to tell you. Everybody's on the table. He's like, not me. I'm off the table. And that they would regularly hang out and watch football together. In fact, Kutcher once teased that Diddy Party stories were some of his favorite anecdotes, implying there was a lot more going on behind closed doors than he was willing to say. Other stars have also dropped subtle hints about the wild nature of Diddy's events. In a 2014 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Khloe Kardashian mentioned attending one of his parties, describing it as too crazy and wild for her. She recalled seeing half the guests barely clothed, stating, You would have loved it, reflecting both fascination and discomfort with the environment. Singer Usher also opened up about living with Diddy for a year in the 90s, during which he attended several of his legendary parties. When asked if he would ever let his own kids attend one of Diddy's gatherings, Usher's response was a firm, Absolutely not. No way. 50 Cent, another big name in the music industry, has spoken about his unease around Diddy. He once shared that Diddy made bizarre remarks, including a strange invitation to go shopping together, which left 50 Cent visibly annoyed. Perhaps most shocking, however, was comedian Cat Williams' revelation. Williams claimed he turned down a $50 million offer to attend one of Diddy's parties. Like, no, not they offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who going to turn down 50 million? Now, I've had to turn down 50 million dollars four times. Four times. Declining it multiple times to protect his integrity. He humorously commented that attending those parties would mean losing his dignity, hinting at the kind of behavior expected at these gatherings. Williams even went on to predict more celebrity scandals would surface from these events and it seems like he was spot on. All of these confessions paint a troubling picture of Diddy's lifestyle and the questionable influence his parties have had on Hollywood's elite. As the case against him continues to unfold, the legal accusations grow even more disturbing. Grave allegations. Can Diddy and his accomplices survive? The serious charges against Diddy are mounting, and the ripple effects on his career and business empire are already being felt with over 10 lawsuits accusing him of misconduct, coercion, and drug-related offenses.
the once mighty mogul now finds himself in the crosshairs of a major legal battle. Just last month, Diddy was arrested and indicted on federal charges linked to human trafficking. The indictment alleges that Combs abused and exploited women and other people for years, and in a variety of ways. As alleged, Combs used force, sending shockwaves through the industry. He's currently being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, awaiting trial after twice being denied bail. His attempts to secure his release, including a $50 million bail package and house arrest proposal, have been rejected by the courts. One of the most recent claims against Diddy comes from Don Richard, a former member of Danity Kane. Richard alleges that Diddy confined her unlawfully and threatened her life when she tried to defend Cassie, his then-girlfriend. This lawsuit is just one of many, with claims against him dating back as far as 1991. Shockingly, the youngest alleged victim was only nine years old, and 25 others were minors at the time of the incidents. Attorney Tony Busby, representing several of the accusers, has hinted that more explosive details are on the way, including a list of high-profile figures allegedly tied to Diddy's scandalous behavior. According to Busby, these names will come to light as more lawsuits are filed in the coming weeks. The accusations paint a sordid picture of Diddy's infamous white parties, which reportedly featured excessive drug use and exploitation of women. His extravagant parties in Ibiza, described by his former fixer as the epitome of hedonism, were notorious for attracting beautiful women and keeping the most exclusive crowds entertained until the early morning hours. Diddy, of course, has denied all allegations and pleaded not guilty to the criminal charges. His legal team continues to maintain his innocence, with one attorney declaring, he's not afraid. He's ready to prove his innocence in court. However, as the legal battle drags on, the fallout has already begun. Brands have distanced themselves from the rapper, and his social media has been flooded with backlash. The spotlight now is on whether Diddy and those connected to him, including Will Smith, can weather the storm. As new revelations continue to surface, the entertainment world watches closely, waiting to see just how deep the rabbit hole goes. And as for Diddy's odd relationship with Justin Bieber, stay tuned. That's the next piece of this wild puzzle. The troubling bond between Diddy and Bieber. The early friendship between Sean Diddy Combs and a young Justin Bieber, once seen as harmless, is now facing renewed scrutiny. At just 15 years old, Bieber spent time with Diddy, who was over 40 at the time, sparking concerns about the nature of their relationship. In a resurfaced 2009 video, Diddy mentions having custody of Bieber for 48 hours, saying, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me, so, um... Although it might have seemed like a joke back then, fans are now questioning these moments in light of serious allegations surrounding Diddy. More videos of the two from this time period have emerged, adding fuel to the growing speculation. In a 2016 clip from a party, Bieber is seen looking visibly uncomfortable while Diddy talks about their plans to get some girls. These once overlooked interactions are now being re-examined, with fans wondering why a young Bieber was spending so much time in such settings. People are now questioning whether Bieber might have been put in situations that were inappropriate for someone his age. Platforms like X, formerly Twitter, have been flooded with concerned reactions. Fans are calling the videos disturbing, with some even asking why no one stepped in to protect Bieber during his teenage years, especially given Diddy's influence. Bieber's unease in these clips is being seen as a possible sign of discomfort with what was going on at the time. Despite the outcry, Bieber has remained silent. Sources close to him suggest that he's focused on his personal life, especially after recently becoming a father. But his silence has left fans wondering if there's more to the story. Given Bieber's past admissions about the challenges he faced growing up in the industry, some believe that there could be deeper reasons behind his decision to stay quiet. This has only heightened the intrigue around what might have really been going on during his time with Diddy. As fans continue to speculate about Bieber's silence, 
the legal case against Diddy progresses, with new developments surfacing almost daily. And the deeper investigators dig, the more troubling the revelations become. Could more names emerge as part of this ongoing investigation? Stay tuned, because this story is only just beginning. Diddy's legal troubles, testimonies and revelations. Diddy's legal battles reached a critical point in September 2024, when he was arrested on charges of trafficking, racketeering, and running a criminal enterprise. So this is a three count indictment against Sean Combs. Now count one charges racketeering conspiracy and the indictment alleges that Sean Combs, along with others who are not charged, but others ran an enterprise, an operation, essentially a business that engaged in a series of crimes. These charges followed an investigation that began after his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit accusing him of years of abuse. The situation escalated when federal authorities conducted raids on Diddy's properties, uncovering evidence that suggested deeper involvement in troubling activities. The case against Diddy is growing stronger, thanks to an increasing number of testimonies from individuals who allege they were exploited at exclusive parties hosted by him. According to some, these parties involved inappropriate activities that have now drawn significant legal attention. These testimonies have revealed a concerning pattern of behavior that reportedly took place within Diddy's social circle, involving manipulation and misconduct. In a surprising twist, male victims have also come forward with claims, complicating the case further. Their testimonies suggest a broader, more pervasive issue within Diddy's alleged operations, painting a disturbing picture of his influence and control. These accounts could play a pivotal role in determining the outcome of his trial, Many are comparing Diddy's legal challenges to the wider reckoning happening across industries, similar to the hashtag MeToo movement in Hollywood. Some believe that Diddy's case is a tipping point in the music industry, where years of misconduct may finally be coming to light. This has led to speculation about whether other powerful figures could also be implicated. As the evidence against him continues to build, legal experts predict that Diddy might pursue a plea deal to avoid a prolonged trial that could severely damage his reputation. However, his legal team is pushing back hard, suggesting that the accusations are part of a coordinated attempt to take him down. Despite their defense, Diddy's public image has taken a major hit, and the outcome of this case could potentially end his career. The bigger question remains, how far does this scandal reach, and who else might be caught up in it? The Mysterious Epstein-Diddy Connection Amid the growing legal storm, rumors and conspiracy theories are swirling about a possible connection between Diddy and disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein. While Diddy's alleged actions are under scrutiny, some people are drawing comparisons to Epstein's notorious activities, sparking speculation about deeper ties between the two. Both Epstein and Diddy have been accused of using their power and influence to manipulate those around them, leading to uncomfortable parallels between their cases. Epstein, infamous for his private island gatherings, where misconduct allegedly took place, used his wealth to maintain a network of high-profile connections. Diddy's alleged parties may not have been as global in scale, but some argue that they share similar dynamics, using social influence to control others. For conspiracy theorists, these parallels are too striking to ignore. Epstein was known for secretly gathering compromising material on powerful individuals, allegedly using it for blackmail. Some now speculate that Diddy's events might have served a similar purpose, giving him leverage over others. Though no concrete evidence has surfaced to support this theory, the similarities in how both men reportedly operated have left many people wondering if there's more to the story. A federal case like this, a lot of eyeballs, very high profile. How can we forget that financier sex offender Jeffrey Epstein died while he was locked up at the Metropolitan Correction Center in New York pending trial. Some theorists believe that Diddy's current legal troubles may be part of an effort to conceal connections to an even bigger, darker network. The idea that Diddy, like Epstein, could have used social gatherings as a means of controlling others has taken hold in certain corners of the Internet. While no solid proof has emerged, the parallels between their cases have only added fuel to these speculations. Could there be more to Diddy's downfall than meets the eye? And could his case uncover even deeper secrets within the world of the rich and powerful? 
As the legal proceedings unfold, more revelations are expected, and the truth behind these rumors might just come to light. One thing is for sure, the story is far from over, and it's only getting more intense. The Diddy Jailhouse Drama Will he face Epstein's fate? One of the most talked about elements of Sean Diddy Combs' case is the danger he might face behind bars, drawing eerie comparisons to the late Jeffrey Epstein's final days. The striking similarities between the two cases have only fueled speculation and fanned the flames of conspiracy theories, leaving many wondering if Diddy is destined for the same tragic fate. Jeffrey Epstein's death in 2019 while held at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, MCC, in Manhattan, remains one of the most controversial moments in recent history. The official report declared it a suicide, but suspicions of foul play arose almost immediately. Epstein, facing serious charges for sex trafficking minors, had connections that stretched across the highest levels of politics, entertainment, and finance. People speculated that his death might have been orchestrated to protect powerful individuals tied to his criminal web. The fact that Epstein had been on suicide watch but was inexplicably left unmonitored at the time of his death only deepened public distrust. For many, it seemed like Epstein was silenced before he could expose anyone important. Now in 2024, Sean Diddy Combs finds himself in a similar situation, and the whispers have begun again. After his arrest on charges of sex trafficking and racketeering, Diddy was thrown into the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn. This facility is notorious for its brutal conditions, and it's seen more than its share of inmate deaths. As with Epstein, people are openly questioning whether Diddy's life is at risk while he awaits trial. Could he be silenced in jail, just like conspiracy theorists believe Epstein was? Social media has been buzzing, with many voicing concerns about whether Diddy might get Epsteined during his time in custody. The question, will Diddy get Epsteined, has become a hot topic among fans, conspiracy theorists, and observers alike. Due to these swirling rumors, Diddy has been placed on suicide watch, even though his legal team asserts that he hasn't shown any signs of self-harm. According to his lawyers, the decision is simply standard protocol for high-profile inmates facing serious charges, meant as a precaution. But given how Epstein's case was handled, skepticism is running high, with many wondering if these precautions are just another part of the same disturbing pattern. So, what's being done to protect Diddy? Since his arrest, he has been under round-the-clock surveillance at MDC, a facility that has been slammed for its unsafe conditions. MDC has struggled for years with issues like violence, understaffing, and frequent reports of inmates harming themselves. To reduce the risks, Diddy has been placed in a special housing unit, SHU, designed to keep inmates who may be in danger from others, or even from themselves. Diddy's life in the SHU is tightly controlled, with 24-7 monitoring by prison staff, constant video surveillance, and regular checks. He's even required to wear a safety smock, which prevents any possibility of self-harm. These extreme measures have been put in place because of the massive public and media attention surrounding his case. But despite these precautions, critics are still concerned. The Metropolitan Detention Center has been described as Diddy Combs has been denied bail in connection with the sexual abuse and sex trafficking charges he faces. And as Les Trump reports, the music mogul who once traveled by private jet to all those mansions is now in a jail that is notorious for its bad living conditions. Hell on Earth by former inmates and activists alike. Overcrowded, often locked down, and lacking even basic services, the jail's reputation casts doubt on whether it can truly prevent another high-profile death like Epstein's. Diddy's fall from grace, the legal firestorm. It all came crashing down in September 2024, when federal authorities arrested Diddy on a raft of shocking charges. Everybody, I am Jesse Weber, and we are come to, coming to you right now with special coverage regarding the arrest and indictment of Sean Diddy Combs. Including sex trafficking, racketeering, and running a criminal empire.
According to the indictment, Diddy allegedly used his entertainment empire, Bad Boy Entertainment, as a front to operate this illicit operation for years, exploiting vulnerable people for forced labor and sexual purposes while using intimidation to keep it all under wraps. Central to the charges are the so-called freak-off parties, wild drug-fueled events that Diddy reportedly organized. At these events, it's alleged that vulnerable individuals were manipulated, taken advantage of, and exploited. But this is no one-time thing. Prosecutors believe Diddy's criminal activities date back to the early 2000s, painting a disturbing picture of systematic abuse that spanned decades. Before his arrest, Diddy was already facing a slew of civil lawsuits accusing him of sexual misconduct. But when federal investigators raided his properties and unearthed even more disturbing evidence, the legal firestorm ignited into a full-blown disaster. The fallout has been catastrophic for Diddy. His once-celebrated career is now in tatters. His business empire, including Bad Boy Records and his lucrative Ciroc Vodka brand, is now under intense scrutiny. The credibility and legacy he spent decades building have been shattered, and his future hangs in the balance. While Diddy's legal team continues to proclaim his innocence, arguing that the charges are part of a larger conspiracy to bring him down, the evidence against him seems to grow with each passing day. His attempts to secure bail have been unsuccessful. Twice now, the courts have denied him. Prosecutors argue that with his immense wealth and global influence, Diddy is a serious flight risk. They also fear he could attempt to intimidate witnesses if released. As the legal drama plays out, Diddy's glamorous, larger-than-life persona has been stripped away. What was once a life of fame, fortune, and power is now overshadowed by dark, scandalous accusations that could potentially end his reign for good. With so much at stake, the big question remains. Will Diddy manage to escape this unscathed, or is this the final chapter of a once-dominant icon in the entertainment world? Do you think that Will Smith is complicit in the ongoing allegations against Diddy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Smash that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Be sure to turn on the notification bell to be notified of our new uploads. Thanks for watching.